Coming up next, has an actual alien abduction been captured on tape? It does appear to be an authentic video. Some believe the security camera footage reveals the shocking disappearance. And then two hours later, the reappearance of an unidentified abduction victim. What really happened? Our experts take you inside. Find experience. Our journey across the paranormal borderline is nearly over. But before we go, we'd like to present this story. We recently received an anonymous letter in the mail. We received many letters like this. But this one provided enough information to warrant further study. It told the story of a worker who appeared to have been abducted by aliens. The letter was accompanied by a tape which allegedly shows the abduction. Here is the tape. There are four black and white pictures. In the top right quadrant, a worker walks right to left through a gate. He disappears here in a flash of light at 11.16 p.m. The tape continued to run normally until almost two hours later. Then the victim reappears in a second flash of light, now in a fetal position. Then moments later, now crouching, he vomits. And seconds later, staggers right to left, out of frame. According to the author of the letter, the footage was copied from a surveillance system. He reports that soon after the incident, the victim abruptly quit his job and moved away. The letter writer claims that the tape is valuable and expects to be paid for it. We provided it to some experts for their analysis. Yvonne Smith is a well-known hypnotherapist and UFO researcher. She chairs a support group that counsels abductees. The stories her patients tell bear a striking similarity to the incident on the tape, particularly the victim's disorientation. I work with many people that they suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. Something happened to them, externally happened to them, that they don't maybe quite remember, but they know they became ill. They know that, you know, they came back and it was one o'clock in the morning and what happened? They, I just opened the gate and it was 11.15. And then I, the next thing I remember, it's one o'clock in the morning and I'm sick to my stomach. What happens during the missing time? Abductees claim they've been rendered immobile, transported to a craft, confronted by alien creatures, and taken to an operating room where the real terror begins. Sperm is taken, ova is taken. I mean, there's, there's a variety of, of experiments or examinations that, that take place during the course of an abduction. If during the course of what's happening to them, if they are being given medication, it's no wonder these people are ill. Is this tape the first photographic evidence of the abduction phenomenon. Bill Schneed holds a PhD in criminology and psychology. As an investigative research analyst, he creates and cracks security systems. According to his preliminary investigation, little conclusive evidence can be drawn from the footage, and yet he believes that it's authentic. I think if someone was to uh, uh, create this type of thing, it would have been much more professionally done. Uh, I think uh, that uh, that the individual who submitted this uh, simply uh, took advantage of uh, some electrical disturbances or disturbances that we have yet to discover that surrounded this day uh, and is trying to capitalize on it. But it does appear to be an authentic video. Both experts agree on one thing. If there is no explanation for the flashes and missing time, the tape may be a major breakthrough in research. And for Smith, it could be the proof that validates millions of abduction claims. This is what we're, we've been waiting for, something that we could get our hands on and say, well, look, we got the time here. There's a flashlight, the power surge. Look at this whole thing. It's, everything went out. You know, and then the guy comes back. It's two hours later. Hey, yeah, two hours of missing time. That's not unusual. We have cases upon cases like this. And then here we have it on tape. You know, then if we could interview the guy, if I could do some hypnosis, some therapy with him, and see what happened in those two hours of missing time, well, we can really put a fantastic case together. Unless more information surfaces, no one can know if this was a real abduction.
But researchers like Bud Hopkins, who's been a leader in the field for over 20 years, are more interested in the impact on the victim than the veracity of the footage. Because if aliens were involved, this individual is out in the world suffering and needs help. The damage that's done to the psyche of those people is just incredible. And when they are put together with other people who have had the same kinds of experiences, there's such a sense that one woman said to me, it's like, it's like finding family. It's like being home. Uh, it's realizing that I'm not crazy, that these impossible experiences seem to have happened to other people. I feel enormously relieved. We urge the author of the letter and the man in the tape to contact us. Clearly, this is a case that needs more investigation.